Donald Trump has upset many, pleased some, and shocked the world and had everyone talking about whether or not it was necessary to have a ban on Muslims entering the United States. That's silly. Let me explain to you why that's silly, okay? Um, Atosha Azami, Azazi, excuse me, Ansari, in 2006 was the first Muslim woman in space. She came through the Soyuz program, but she was also educated at George Washington University. And Miss Ansari, at one point, was orbiting over the United States. So let's just say that this ban, let's say that the ban occurred while she was in space. And let's say that the original sound splashdown point was to be on American soil, although out in the ocean, right? So this ban is put into effect, and all of a sudden, she gets a call, and her crewmates get a call from NASA that because she's Muslim, they can't splash down an American territory because that would be a Muslim entering the United States. Okay? Or something else. Um, do you realize that the second largest religion other than Christianity in India is the Muslim religion? And there are different divisions and sects, right? So let's say you have someone who works for Apple Computer or Microsoft or Uber or Google or YouTube who needs to fly into the Bay Area and they are on H-1 visa status, but there's a ban on Muslims and they can't come over. And it just so happens that they are the key chief engineer on the next big thing that either one of those companies is going to roll out. And that hurts everybody. So the project is delayed, money is lost, and in some cases jobs, particularly with respect to third-party vendors, some of who are located in the United States and are not Muslim and depend indirectly on that chief engineer getting back into the United States, who is perhaps the most peaceful person you've ever met in your life. Get the picture? So now let's take out Muslim and replace it with woman, okay? So Donald Trump says, look, because we had mass shootings with all these women involved, you, no more women coming to the United States. <laughs> that doesn't sound really stupid, right? I mean, it will be really horrible in more ways than one. But it just, just shows you the mentality. Now, someone on Twitter pointed out that Jimmy Carter called for a ban on Iranian citizens coming into the United States. That's different. Those are people from one country. Okay? That's entirely different. You could be Iranian-born American. Or you could be an American and Iranian living there. It's like, hey, you know what? Your, your dual citizenship, sorry, we can't have you come in right now because of these situations. Fine, I get that. But Muslim? It's all over the world, man. I mean, how are you going to handle uh, Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali is Muslim. Muhammad Ali goes to uh, London for a meeting. And he needs to come back to the United States. So oh, I'm sorry you're Muslim, Mr. Ali. We can't let you come back in. Well, I was Hashish Kelly. It doesn't matter. You're Muslim now. We can't let you back in. That's how silly this whole thing is. And I'm getting a call right now from a friend who's going to tell me they absolutely agree with me. Donald Trump, you're just wrong, man.